Well, let me begin by uh, saying on, on all three of us, the Vice President, the new Secretary of Homeland Security, that our hearts go out to the families of the FBI special agents, and uh, two of whom were killed, and three of whom were, uh, were injured today in Florida. I was briefed in this tragedy earlier today, and uh, I know the FBI is gathering information about uh, how this happened, what happened, but um, I, uh, I can only imagine how these families are feeling today. You know, one of the things when you are in a combat zone as a military or you're an FBI agent or military or a police officer, every family uh, just, when they put that shield on and go out in the morning, dreads the possibility of a call receiving that phone call. And uh, my heart aches for the families. I've not had an opportunity, nor will I try today, to, um, to contact them, but uh, they put their lives on the line, and uh, it's a hell of a price to pay. And every single day, every show of these folks get up and they, uh, by and large, the vast, vast majority of these men and women are uh, decent, honorable people put themselves on the line. We owe them. But the purpose of my asking you here today is I want to congratulate the new uh, secretary, Secretary Mahorkas, who's going to take on an easy job, uh, nothing to it, Homeland Security, and, uh, and uh, going to deal, looking forward to his leadership and working with Congress uh, on a lot of issues, including the immigration bill that has, uh, I think, great support in both chambers. Today, I'm going to sign a few executive orders um, uh, to strengthen the immigration system, building on uh, the executive actions I took on day one to protect dreamers and uh, to end the Muslim ban and to better manage our borders. And that's what these uh, three different uh, executive orders are about. And I want to make it clear, there's a lot of talk with good reason about the number of executive orders that I have signed. I'm not making new law. I'm eliminating bad policy. Um, what I'm doing is taking on the issues that 99 percent of them, that the president, the last president of the United States, issued executive orders I thought were very counterproductive to our security, counterproductive to who we are as a country, particularly in, uh, in, uh, in the area of immigration. This is about uh, how America is safer, stronger, more prosperous when we have a fair, orderly and uh, humane legal immigration system. And uh, with the first action today, uh, we're going to work to undo the moral and national shame of the previous administration that literally, not figuratively, ripped children from the arms of their families, their mothers and fathers at the border, and with no plan, none whatsoever, to reunify the children who are still in custody and, uh, and their parents. The second action addresses the root causes of our migration to our southern border. And the third action, the third order I'm going to be signed, orders a full review of the previous administration's harmful and counterproductive immigration policies, uh, basically, across the board. And so with that, I'm going to sign the first order, which is the reestablishment of the interagency task force and the reunification of families. And remove the stain on the reputation for what the separation has caused. That is the first order. The second order I'm signing is creating a comprehensive regional framework to address the causes of migration and to manage migration throughout the North and Central America and to provide a safe and orderly processing of asylum seekers at the United States border. And the third order I'm signing is restoring the faith in our legal immigration system and strengthening immigration and inclusion efforts for new Americans.
And my grandfather would say, the grace of God and the goodwill of the neighbors will re reunite these children and reestablish our reputation as being a haven for people in need. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.